They're low key giving restaurant server vibes. Oh, so glad you made it. I'm so glad you could come back. Hi, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dominique. If you're new here, please feel free to subscribe to this channel and like this video if you liked it. All right, so welcome back to another installation of What's New, where I visit different stores and show you all what's new at those respective stores. So for this video, we are going to be at Zara. If you watched one of my most recent vlogs, then you would have seen me all up and through Zara looking at pieces trying them on so this is today's video and that's what it's going to be all about so yeah if you were curious as to anything that i picked up while i was there or if you wanted to know more about the pieces that i was trying on this is a video for you so before we get into the video let me just start off with what i'm wearing the hat is from h&m i've had it for a while now this blazer is actually the Notorious KIA or Notorious Kia on Instagram and her collab with Amazon The Drop. The cuff is, which I didn't know, but I got this like earlier this year at the top of this year. This is a cuff from Lovisa. I believe it is a dupe for the Tiffany cuff. So it's just it's so pretty. And it comes in a pack of two, so I have two of them. The earrings are by Amazon, as you all know, and the lippy is a combination of fortune cookie and praline. So let's go ahead and head over to Zara. All right, y'all, we're here at Zara. So I'm gonna share with you all everything that they have to offer in the women's section. So. Let's go inside and see what they have. I'm kind of excited because I haven't been to Zara in a little while now. Zara is a renowned Spanish fashion retailer that has become one of the world's largest and most successful fashion brands. Founded in 1974 in Spain by Amancio Ortega, who is now one of the most richest men in the world with his net worth being $73 billion as of November of this year. Zara offers clothing for men, women, and kids. They have a home line along with their beauty line called Zara Beauty that launched in early 2021. They belong to one of the world's largest distribution groups called Inditex that also also houses Massimo Duty. What's your take on Zara fashion? Zara has easily become one of the places that I think of first when it comes to buying new clothes. And the Zara location that I'm in right now is the Aventura location. They had a whole section pretty much dedicated to red items. They were ready and prepared for fall and winter. They had a lot of fall and winter clothing out and ready to go. Look at these army green cargo boots. So cute. They're giving Mary J, but cute. <laughs> and this is a thick knit cardigan. I love these feathered heels with the gold heel detailing. Mm -mm -mm, to die for. And then they had this section here that housed most of their more expensive pieces, such as this contrast trench coat. This trench coat is running for $439. I don't get that, but it's okay. Like it's, I'm just not the customer for this trench and that's fine. But it looked so good on. I love the patent leather look to it. Um, I think this would be a great trench coat to have but at a different price for sure. This could dress up any outfit just because of the texture and the look of the trench. Now, if you're into ballet flats, Zara has these cute rhinestone ballet flats out. They have a bunch of different purses. Now this model jacket, I wasn't a fan of because of how it felt. It was stretchy, kind of spongy. I didn't like it at all, actually. <laughs> but this faux leather jacket, oh my goodness. It absolutely won me over. Spoiler alert, I did buy it. It's, it's so good. Even with what I had on, I just knew I had to get it. Mm-hmm, I did. Now let's jump into the fitting room. All right, so we made it into the fitting room. This is what I have on. Lined up everything here. So I have a few pieces. So I'm on the first floor right now, and then I'm gonna make my way up to the second floor. See how everything fits and feels. So these are just the things that I find interesting or something that I feel like a lot of people could leverage in their wardrobe, so. That's how I'm picking things out and things that just stand out to me. 
starting off with these navy blue velvet pants. You can't really see, I had a really hard time trying to show you all the color and the texture, but the light picks up on it some way, somehow. <laughs> but these pants were pretty cool. I thought it would be great to have for the upcoming holiday season and just a great um, change to your basic blue jeans. The next piece that I tried on is this mixed knit sweater shirt. It runs very oversized, so beware. I'm actually trying on a size extra small. I think this would be a great top to have just for an easy everyday look when you don't want to try too hard, but you still want to look put together. I think this gives you kind of a head start to what you're going to be wearing for the day. And all you have to do is just possibly put on some black leggings, some black faux leather pants. The choice is yours. This is another top that I tried on, which I thought was pretty cool. I love how the pockets hang over the cropped part of the shirt. It is long sleeved and it does come in a different color. I did see it in white and I linked it in the description box below for you. This red halter neck top with a deep V cut I thought was really nice but I didn't like the way that it fit there was just too much extra fab fabric in the front as you can see here and I'm actually wearing this in an extra small so I feel like if I went up to a size small it wouldn't hug my body as much as the extra small did I love the look of it but I just didn't think that it would work well in my wardrobe This is a wool top pant set. Um, based off of the feel, it didn't necessarily feel like wool. It is lightweight, but that's what it's described as on the website. I loved this set. Um, I thought it was really nice. The color is very, very pretty. And the pants are drawstring pants, so they're super comfortable. I think this would be a great Thanksgiving look. This faux leather black strapless dress. Do I need to say any more? This is giving holiday season. Sexy holiday party. Okay, slip this on and you're, you're getting numbers, babe. What? Yeah. Now this, I was so excited for. I thought this was so cute on the hanger, but I just picked it up in a size too small. I think I'm wearing this in a size small. I think I would actually go up to a medium or a large just to see how it fit, um, but it's still very cute. This red dress, again, it is holiday season. Hey, I thought this dress was super pretty. I love red on my skin. Um, I think it looks really nice on my skin tone. The back detailing is really nice, but the length was a little weird for me. This is a basic white button-up shirt that is collarless. I think this is so easy to wear. This is your basic button-down white top that I feel everybody should have in their wardrobe. So if you're in search of one, definitely check this one out. Now this black top here, I don't know something about it, obsessed. I love it. I thought it was so nice. I'm actually trying this on in an extra small. I would say just get your true size. Look how nice. This gives me an androgynous look and I love that. Now here are just a few accessories that Sarah had to offer. Now we're on the second floor fitting room, trying on some more pieces. These cargo pants, everything. I thought they were so nice. They also come in a blue denim. So if you're interested, I have linked both of them down below, but they look so good. The wash was everything. This green cargo top, girl, I don't think there's not much for me to say. There's not much for me to say. She's a goodie. She is delicious. I'm obsessed. Such a cute. Pockets are functional. Oh my goodness. Next up is this strapless striped dress. So sexy. I mean, a lot of leg. But I love the fact that the sleeves are long, so it does cover up your arms. But I love the pattern and the color. It's just, this was a really, really pretty dress.
Next up is this lace detailing dress. I thought this was really pretty, but again, the length is a little awkward for me and it did keep scrunching up. So take that into consideration. But also, I think I was trying this on in a size too small. I think this was a small and I definitely need the medium. But look at this lace detailing. So, so pretty and perfect for the holiday season. I also love the fact that it has a mock neck. Now this, I think this would be perfect for the airport when you wanna look put together, but still casual and comfortable. The top on in a large, and I'm trying on the pants in a medium. The texture is really nice and very soft. I paired it up with this tool cardigan. How cute is this? This is so girly and fun. I think it was great, a great added touch to the airport outfit. And this belted top I thought was really, really nice. And it's a different take on a strapless top. All right, we made our way to LA, so we had to stop at the Zara at the Grove to pick up a few things. So let's see what they have in store. I right, made my way to the fitting room. This is my outfit. That's what I was wearing for the day. As you can see, I wore that black jacket that I picked up from the Aventura Mall at Zara. First piece is this pinstripe wrap skirt. Oh, how good are these pants? I'm actually trying these on in a medium, but I did pick them up in a size large. Felt the medium was a little too tight for me, but the large, I will have to get the waist taken in. Oh, so, so good. Next up is this two-piece charcoal set. Oh, it was cold in LA and I needed to be warm. <laughs> so I was out looking for something to keep us to keep me warm while we went out. And this set was just so good. And it is uh, off the shoulder and it fits so nice. Now this halter top, ugh, so yummy. I'm trying it on in both a black and a green color. And I'm wearing a size small in both tops. And that's all that we got. So let's get back to the house. All right, we're back home. Take a seat. We're gonna talk about everything that I picked up. But before we do, you might've noticed that I was at The Grove, which is a uh, shopping center in LA. And so I did have to go to the Zara in LA and I picked up a few pieces there and I'm so excited to share some of those pieces because I picked up some good things. Starting off with the only accessory that I have to share, which are going to be these ear cuffs. Now, these also come in a gold, color but i decided to get the silver because i'm in my silver area you feel me like i'm really liking the way silver is looking on me i haven't tried them on just yet and i'm sure that they're going to be a hit okay especially with you know a pulled back look something that's showing at least one of my ears i don't know if i would wear both of them at the same time but I don't know, we'll see, who knows? <laughs> Part two of my California vlog comes out. You'll see me wear this and it looks so good on. It is this two piece off the shoulder set in this charcoal gray color and it is gorgeous. It has this ruche detailing on the side which gives it a more feminine look, kind of snatches you in a little bit and it is off the shoulder, so it does sit up higher right here and then it drops down a little bit to the side and it just looks so, so nice and feminine. So I had to pick up this set while I was in LA because I was running out of clothes, y'all. I was running out of things to wear. We were going out and unbeknownst to me, LA gets cold at night, so I didn't really, I knew to expect it, but I didn't expect it would get that cold. And I'm a Floridian, so if it drops anything below 75, it's cold. The nights were giving 60 degrees, and so I definitely needed this two-piece set to keep me warm and to still look good at the same time. The way that I styled this two-piece was with my Rustin Baginski uh, Baker Boy cap that's in a army green color. It just looked so good together, y'all. With gold accessories, it just 
yummy and these are the bottoms they're just your regular straight leg pants so they don't necessarily flare out or anything like that. They're just straight leg all the way through. I picked up the pants in a size medium. I could have gotten a small, but I didn't want it to be too tight on the thigh area. I think the medium fits perfectly, but it's a little big at the waist. I can't lie, it's just a little, it's a smidgen big, but it's okay. The top I got in my true size, which is a small. And I just love it. I love this set. It was reasonably priced. I feel like Zara's prices, as with everything else, are going up, so typically you know jeans used to be 50 bucks now they're 90 80 90 dollars so i think this was fairly priced and i love it so if you can pick this up i would highly recommend it especially if you want to look more elevated but still effortless this is the look for you honestly and it's not it's not like a jogger set or anything like this is this is that girl this is gonna make you look classy this set is going to make you look very put together without all that effort okay just a no-brainer we love that we love no brainer the next piece that i picked up while i was at the grove are these pants now i love them they're low-key giving restaurant server vibes but honestly when i put them on i just knew i had to get them i knew i had to get them i got them in a size large i did try on the size large and the medium the medium fit me pretty tight on the thigh area whereas the large I'm gonna have to take the waist in a bit but I'm not too I'm not mad at that I'd rather be, I'd rather be able to take them in a little bit than to be too big for them these other pants they're just your basic black and white striped pin pants uh, with slits on the legs which I mean I could have done without the splits but I'm okay with it. Now, the pinstripes aren't as bright or as white as your normal pinstripe pant look would look which i'm fine with i think this is a subtle look to the pinstripe uh feel the most important part about these pants is that the fact that they have a skirt stitched stitched into them already so you just clasp it on the side to get it all together and you have a skirt and a pant you'll see it on it just looks so good it looks so good i just knew i had to get them now these were because we're a little pricey. I would consider these pants your elevated basics. So not as basic as a regular pinstripe pair of trousers, which I love, okay? Don't get me wrong, I love them. But this gives me more of an elevated basic look. And the reason why I would consider this a more elevated look is because it's not your typical pinstripe pant, right? So it comes with a skirt. Um, it just looks a little bit more edgy, a little different. And I enjoy them. I think they're gonna look so good. I would wear these. Um, with boots, I'd wear these with heels, I would wear these with sneakers, like the possibilities are endless. Oh, I haven't seen anybody in them, I don't know. But y'all know me, it, it's never about, oh, if nobody has them, I want, I'm not that girl. Like I said before, and I'll say it again, I don't care who has it, if I like it, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I got these again in a size large. I do have to get them taken in in the waist, but other than that, they fit the thigh area really well, and they're not too tight, but oh my goodness, I can't wait to get these tailored and, the look is coming, babe, the look is coming. Here is another piece that I got while I was in LA, which is this, oops, which is this top right here. You have some ruched detailing going on on either side. Now this comes with a pair of pants, a matching pair of pants, but I hated the way those pants looked on me. They looked so silly. They weren't my vibe. They looked like they could have been my vibe. They're like your baggy trousers with a stretchy waistband, just something a little bit more casual to this more feminine top, but no, those pants looked crazy on me. They look silly like i said and i had to get this in a size medium because the small was super tight i went up a size and i would suggest that you do too the hole for your arm there's not a lot of stretch there like there it's not moving so i would say go up a size just to be on the safe side and it's going to hug your body even if you do go up a size but i love it i love the mock neck i love the the pattern the color just very um just very neutral and easy to wear so yeah there was another top that i got while i was in la which is a halter neck cargo top it's so cute and this army green color i tried it on in both black and green i i decided to go with the green i feel like i should have went with the black because of the piece that i'm about to show you in a second there's just, they're just too similar i got this one in a size small which fit me really well i did try on the medium the medium was just way too big and i will say that the halter piece is not adjustable i will have to get the um halter piece uh taken apart and just sewed back together to remove some extra fabric just because 
because it sits a little too low for my liking and I don't want to have to deal with the, a nib slip. You feel me? So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and get that altered as well. But other than that, the fit is perfect. It's so nice. I wore it out to brunch while I was in LA. You will see that in part two of my Cali vlog. So I hope you all enjoyed that video when it comes out on Sunday. The top that I was just talking about, which is this strapless cargo top same concept as the halter one um and i got this one in a size medium i find that the medium fit me better the small was a little too small for me there's not a lot of stretch in this top it has the silver hardware detailing i think it's so cute it looks it looks great on as you can see with me trying it on the pockets are functional on both the halter and the strapless top there's some boning in there but it's pretty flexible it's not too structured so i have two jackets to share with y'all that i got from zara one of them i picked up a while ago so it's not it's not recent but they're still selling them in store so i wanted to share it with you other jacket that i got i got while i was in aventura within this video and you would have seen me try it on but it is just so so yummy. I just got both of them dry cleaned, so they're still in their plastic packaging. I got them dry cleaned because I wore them while I was in LA, and I just wanted to get them clean for me to wear them again. Is she not beautiful? Oh, look at that. It is a faux leather jacket. It has the scrunch detailing in the back, which I'm not too mad about, actually. I actually don't really like this rouge detailing on you know the backs of tops or even jackets but i feel like it works here it works really well i love the collarless look i love how the buttons are kind of like indented into the top but you can't really see it there isn't any hardware on here so it's not like you can only wear this with silver hard or silver pieces or gold pieces you can do mixed metals with this. It just looks really good. I wore this jacket when I went out for dinner with Daria. You would have seen me wear it then. Um, I believe I wore it another time if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if I wore it another time within the vlog, but this is just such an amazing piece. I, I love it so much. I got this in a size small. And it's not too fitted. It just it gives the it gives just the right amount of oversize that I want. Pockets in the front are functional, so you can put things in there. And then the buttons, if you have it opened up, the buttons are this silver detailing. Oh, I don't know if this jacket could get any better. I feel like this is me in a jacket. This is me in a jacket. And the last jacket that I'm going to mention is this biker jacket in the color charcoal too good i also got this dry cleaned as well please who are you talking to look look at this jacket i got mine in a large because i wanted a more or i wanted a more oversized look and it gives just that especially when i have the sleeves rolled up not rolled up and folded into one another but just you just slide them up and it just gives off the most oh perfect look to almost any and every outfit i swear and this color goes so well with a lot of different things this color is perfect perfect it's it's perfection in a biker jacket and again it's oversized and the zippers are functional so you can put things in there or you can put your hand in there to keep you warm i wore this while i was in new york for my sister's birthday earlier this year in march if you watched that vlog you would have seen me wear it as well but this is just such a versatile jacket you can wear it in both the fall you can wear it in the fall winter and the spring time it's just amazing and i feel like this elevates any airport look i feel i think i wore this to the airport when i was leaving la so even even TSA was like, your jacket is nice. I knew you was fashionable with that jacket on. But yeah, those are all the pieces that I picked up from Zara within the last two trips that I took to Zara. So I hope you all enjoyed. I did get a request to do a what's new at Aritzia. So I'm making that a plan. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Thank you so, so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have any requests for a new what's new or what's at video, let me know. Leave them down below in the comments. Um, I'm excited to do Aritzia. I don't know if that's going to be next but it's definitely high on the list <laughs> so let me know and i will see you all in my next video bye y'all